Greetings and welcome to another video. It's Saturday the 19th of November 2022 and welcome to Sturchley. In today's video the plan is to return to St James's Church in Sturchley to explore a footpath I saw the last time I was here last weekend. Now to get to where I'm going from where I'm standing at the moment On the road that I'm on at the moment, which is called Sturchley Road, I believe, we're looking for these signposts. And from here, we follow the direction the signpost is pointing off this way along here. As you can see, the Sturchley Spiritualist Church is in this area, but as interesting as that might be, we're not starting from the Sturchley Spiritualist Church. Instead, we're going to be following this signpost. Along here for a bit, the old rectory of St. James and while we're here we're just going to take the time to check out the J uh, St. James's Church which is right there now this is an amazing building it's an absolutely beautiful church The historical plaque, the green plaque on the wall there, it reads St. James's Church, Telford Historic Building, a Norman chapel, partially rebuilt in 1741 and extended in 1839. Yes, so a Norman chapel, partially rebuilt in 1741 and extended in Now St James's Church here in Sturchley is an amazingly beautiful building and a very historic building as well. I'd say definitely, definitely one of my favourite buildings in all of Telford, that's for sure. And if you're ever in a position to visit St James's Church in Sturchley, then I would recommend you drop by because it's just a beautiful building, especially if you get a chance to visit inside. I was only ever able to visit inside this church once a few years ago and it's absolutely gorgeous inside. Yeah, definitely by far one of the most beautiful buildings, most beautiful churches in Telford. So yeah, if you ever get a chance to visit, it's worth the, it's worth the effort in my opinion. Absolutely amazing building. With that in mind, and 
yeah, it'd be good for me to come back here again another day and visit this church properly. But we'll sort that out another day. In the meantime, time to carry on with exploring Sturchley. And from this point, to get to where we want to explore, we carry on this way. Now, I was here last, last weekend, as I mentioned at the start of this video, and last weekend I uh, came along here and followed a footpath which took me to an absolutely amazing uh, nature reserve here in Sturchley. And uh, yeah, the Mad Brook and Sturchley Marsh if I remember correctly. But that's a beautiful place that I visited last weekend and uh, hope to make another video at that location on another day sometime in the future. But yeah, while I was making that video I saw a footpath around here somewhere which we're nearly at right now and the plan is to go explore this other way. So let's uh, carry on. So at this point, this is where we were last time we were here. And as you can see, the path goes off to my left here. And the last time I was here, in my last videos, that's the direction I went, basically. So we're not going to be going along that path in front of me now, because we've already been that way. Instead, over here, this is where we're going today. And I'm fairly sure I've not been this way before. So it's going to be interesting finding out where it goes. Yep, as you can see there's a green gate in front of me. Which is fine, all well and good. Just go through the gate. And we're carrying off down this path. Yeah, I'm certain I've never been this way before. So it'll be interesting to find out where it's going to take us. Weather's pretty nice today. We've got a uh, blue sky, we're sunning out. And as you can see, the setting is typical autumn setting. The leaves on the trees going from green to yellow to gold. And various leaves on the floor now of various browns, reds and the occasional oranges. Orange colour leaves that is. Not surprised the path in front of me is a bit muddy. Because the past five days or so, five, five, the past few days, seven, eight days, have been raining across Telford pretty much every day and night, almost. So I'm glad that, I'm very glad it stopped raining and that the weather's cleared up a bit. That said, it is a bit cold today. Very cold day. Not surprising because it's start of well, we're halfway through November now. Yeah, the height of autumn. 
Okay, looks like the path is going to be turning to my left in a moment. Oh, actually there's a oh, path split as well. Alright, so the path to my left here, as you can see, goes off into housing estate here in Sturchley. So we're not going to go that way. Instead, we're going to stick to the path going off to my left here. As I said before, I don't really know Sturchley that well. I don't come exploring this way that often. Uh, no, there's a few, there's a couple of really interesting places to explore and visit in Sturchley, as I found out last week during uh, the videos that I, made, that I made last weekend. So, uh, be good to revisit those locations and make new videos better exploring those places. But as for this way, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Don't know what lies ahead, but I'm sure, I'm pretty sure there's going to be something fairly interesting up ahead. So yeah, good time situation. I can see a building up ahead, which means this path is gonna path is gonna open up in a few yards. That buzzing we can hear in the skies. Sounds like a light aircraft. Sometimes on days like today, if you keep your ears open, you can hear small aircraft flying around above the uh, houses here in Telford. Well, uh, obviously from where I'm standing at the moment, I can't see it. So yeah. Whew. Right, so the path kind of goes there, but at the same time, it all opens up in the same spot. Okay, uh, not sure where I am now, interesting, but obviously on the main road with a bus going by, not sure if that was the number 3 or the number 13, I couldn't tell, but if we come over here to the main road itself,
there's a couple of signposts on this main road giving me an idea of where I am let's uh, check it out this is the road I'm on I don't know the name of this road but we're heading down this way a few yards to hopefully get an idea of where exactly I am right now so yeah, Brookside Central Community Centre which is off in that direction I didn't I didn't know Brookside had a community centre so that's odd okay so it's the number three bus that comes down this way Benbridge and by the looks of it right, the Brookside Big Bang is back according to this Saturday 19th November firework display going on 7.30 p.m. start yeah so that's interesting I'm in Brookside by the looks of it and yeah uh, Brookside is another part of Telford I don't know very well uh, despite again going through Brookside many times and uh, visiting a couple of people in Brookside over the past few, de few, few years so yeah so yeah I wasn't expecting this footpath I explored to uh, bring me to Brookside to be honest here yeah. um, so I think the plan is to check out the Brookside Community Centre to see what that's like and yeah so let's uh, carry on and see if we can find a place to check it out so I'm walking through past some houses here in Brookside oh man I'm not going to say anything bad about Brookside, to be honest, yeah, because I don't want to. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything bad about Brookside because I don't want to. At the same time, ah oh man, not the most positive first impressions in the world of this part of Brookside. Egads. And here we are at Brookside Central Community Centre. So I'm now on the front entrance of Brookside Centre Community Centre and it's a bit weird around here to be honest here. Yeah. Very weird. There's so so many CCTV cameras on this side of Brookside. There's a CCTV camera attached to every lamppost. Every lamppost. Absolutely weird. What's Brookside? What's happening? What's going on in Brookside to have a CCTV camera attached to every or nearly every lamppost? in this part of Brookside, come on. Should I be worried? Should I be worried about Brookside? Ah, oh, egads. Well, in front of the community centre, there's a Cod Friday's fish and chip shop. There's a hair and tanning studio. There's a premier mini supermarket shop. Yeah. Uh, not much going on here in the centre Brookside other than so many CCTV cameras. Absolutely weird. And that note, I'm going to finish this video here. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you all soon in the next video.
Take care and goodbye.